Is your MacBook starting to go slow, your Mac or your iMac? Well, here's a few ways to clean it up, and it's probably because you have a lot of old files, old large files on your computer. So what I want you to do is go ahead and click on About This Mac, then go ahead and click on Storage, and there you can see what is using up your space. Now I have the Macintosh, of course, and then I have Boot Camp installed. And you can see the bootcamp windows is using up a lot of my space, but I'll just go ahead and delete some of my files from the Macintosh HD. So let's go ahead and click on manage. Now the first thing you'll see is recommendation. This is where Apple tells you to store your files, like store them in iCloud. This way you'll save a lot of space on your Mac. And you could do that for your photos and other files as well and then it tells you to optimize storage by deleting iTunes files like movies you have rented or any songs and you can empty your trash and reduce clutter let's go ahead and click on applications so these are the applications that's using the most space and for me it's iMovie and then I have GarageBand and I don't really use that so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and remember that if you delete it from here it's going away permanently you can always download it again of course let's see what we have in the documents folder and we have a few video files that I can delete and I don't really need any of them so I'll just go ahead and delete a few and you could the first one is the large files, the other one is the downloads, and the last one is the file bro browser. So in large files it shows you the, the large files, of course, and you can just delete them from there. And they are gone permanently, they are not going to the uh, to the bin, they are just going straight, to the, straight away forever. So be cautious when deleting these. Let's go ahead and manage the books, and I don't really have any iBooks, so... And you can just scroll through these and see whatever if you have anything to delete so this is the new macbook so i don't really have anything um, yeah we can go go into photos and here you can turn on icloud photo library so this will store your photos in icloud and you won't have to deal with them on your mac and they won't use up space and from here you can empty your trash so that's the first step to cleaning up your Mac and I have a few other methods so stay tuned. I want you to open up system preferences, click on security and privacy right there and then you click on file vault. So basically what the file vault does is encrypting your files and when, the, when it does this it takes up a lot of space. It encrypts each file and you can turn it off and turn it on anytime mine is turned off and if I want to turn it on I have to click on the uh, yellow lock and then click on turn on and it's grayed out right now because I haven't turned it on and if you want to turn it on if it's turned on on your Mac and you want to turn it off make sure you do it at night or at a time where you don't need the Mac because this can take up to 11 to 12 hours so make sure you have a lot of free time when doing this and it's definitely worth turning off because it can save up to tens and tens of GB another application you can use is clean my Mac free you can download it for free and it will clean optimize and maintain your Mac and um, this is a very pro good program I use it myself and if you want to use it, you can just go to macpaw.com. You can download it for free. Uh, and I already have it, so I'll just go ahead and open it up. And there you go. So what you do is just click on scan. And it will scan you the whole system for any junk files, photo junk, mail attachments, old mail attachment and stuff like that and it should just take a few minutes oh, didn't even take a few minutes it takes like under a minute to scan the whole system 
and it already found 9.7 GB to delete. Okay, 9.10 GB to free up. So what you can do is clean up everything at once by clicking on clean. Or you can review each file, review details and you can see what which files you need and which you don't. And it should be pretty safe to free up system junk. It's just unused language files and it says outdated catch files. So you can go ahead and clean that. Uh, photo junk, I didn't have any. It's a new MacBook, so I don't really have anything on it. But you should be cautious when deleting photo junk. It could be some old photos of yours. Mail attachments, you can delete those. You can always download them again from your email uh, host, like Hotmail or something. iTunes junk, you can always delete that sometimes uh, because it's old iOS device backups and stuff like that. Uh, nowadays, people mostly use iCloud for iOS backups, so it should be pretty safe to delete that too. Trash bin, that's just your trash bin that it will empty. I don't really have anything there. And large and old files. So, these are the large and old files, and you should probably go ahead and review the files before you delete them. So you just click on review files. And these are the old files. You can go ahead and look them up, see the the folder they're in, and stuff like that. And then you can remove them. And you should know that this program is free to download, but it's not completely free. The first 500 megabytes it will delete for you for free, and then you have to purchase it. You can unlock it here. Uh, I don't really know how much it costs. Let me just check that out. $40 for a single. Another application you can use is something called Memory Clean 2. Now, it's not really an application that deletes old files and stuff like that, but you can use it to free up RAM. So, a lot of people delete old files and large files because is slowing down their computer and what you can do is clean your memory also so what you do here is open up memory clean you can get it from the app store it's for free you open it up and you get to this screen now I have 16 GB available so what I can do is click on clean and and this should only take a few seconds and it should clean a few GB of RAM and there we go so that's it for today i hope you liked the video please subscribe comment and like the video if you liked it